Hi, once again. Um, let's have a little chat, shall we? Today's been an interesting day for me, and I wanted to share some highlights, some challenges, and some opportunities. <laughs> it, not necessarily in that order. Um, and I want to talk about this. this. This has been an ongoing conversation. I started this on Friday, I think it was. <clears throat> Excuse me, after an experience at Trader Joe's that shook me a little bit. And I want to talk about that. So this is a different piece, which is, if you've been watching the news or social media the last 12 hours, maybe 24 hours, it's like, to be blunt, the shit's hitting the fan. Things are getting a bit more serious, according to the media. And that's what I'm concerned about. And I'm going to speak from this point of view of being in a process where I have to... Um, no, no, I'll get to that later. I'm jumping ahead. So, first of all, as I said at the beginning, don't panic. I should, I should say stop panicking. I should have said don't panic. It's better to say it that way. Cause that is uh, from uh, Hitchhiker's Earth of the Galaxy. <clears throat> Excuse me, jumping ahead. So, the thing about it is we're getting lots of stuff inundating us through the media and through the news. First of all, remember a couple of things. The news organizations make more money when they sell more ads. The more dramatic the news, the more ads they sell, the more money they make for their um, owners. So know that when there's a lot of stuff on the news, be aware of the emotional content of it versus the data points. So that's one thing to be strived aware of. Because frankly, if you're being swayed, which happens a lot, by the scary news they make when they've got little to go on, frankly. You know, in case you hadn't noticed, by the way, with this, the whole thing with the, as my friends call it, the beer virus, just to use a different front languaging, there's a lot of stuff being put out there that isn't actually factual yet because they're going by hypotheses, as in multiple hypotheses. <laughs> so there's a lot going on. And I'm not a medical doctor, so I'm not going to give you like, specifics. But here's the thing I want to talk about, is that it's very easy to get swayed by outside influence whether it's social media posts or it's articles you read online or it's news items or media items or anything else some of the stuff comes at us and I had an experience today where I got knocked a bit off center so I know what it feels like to be not panicked at least not me personally but I felt like stressed I'll use that word by what was being said to me and in front of me and it got me to really remember who I am and what I'm about and we'll get to that in a moment so you may be in the experience in life, maybe having challenges because you can't find your toilet paper, or having other challenges with family members, or not, able, not feeling like you, have to leave, you can go to leave the house because you can't go to work or you've been put at home, whatever it is. There are certain things that are happening that make our lives more challenging than they usually are. And I put them all in one bucket, which is more life challenges than usual. Because that's what's going on. My question to you, or invitation to you is, how do you handle yourself? How, do you, how are you with yourself and with the world when that happens, when there's more stuff thrown at you or in, in, the, in your awareness that is challenging your peace of mind, how do you handle that? Now, I was at Agape this morning. Yes, I was at Agape, even though officially it was closed um, because I was part of the, um, not security, but, but guest relations. And basically, because this Agape, because it is a congregational space, is limiting its population, limiting its attendance to a lot smaller group. And in fact, there were probably... Rough estimates, besides the staff, the volunteers, the ministers, practitioners, there are probably maybe 30, 35, 35, 30, 35 people each service, instead of a thousand each service. Because one, again, we've asked, been asked by Gavin Newsom to reduce um, congregational groups to less than 250. And also we want to respect the boundaries, you know, people spreading apart and that sort of thing. That was an interesting experience, because usually when I'm at a carpet on a Sunday, I get to see... Hundreds of people I know, friends of mine, and a thousand people at each service. That's, you know, a couple of thousand people on a Sunday. It's my weekly dose of fellowship and community and connection. It was weird today, <laughs> being that quiet. But it was interesting to watch how we were interacting with each other and how we connected. Yeah, we had um, some industrial strength um, hand, um, um, hand sanitizer, sanitizer is the word, and wash your hands frequently, stuff like that. But at the same time, we were still being human, connected, conversational, talking. And yes, some of us actually hugged because we believe it's safe to do so. We chose that. But the thing about it is, is that there's a reminder, even in the midst of the difference experience, that there's still truth going on. There's still connection going on. There's still humanity going on. And for me personally, I'm watching what seems to be a lot of our connection ability being pulled away. 
And the reason I'm talking about this actually is actually, is actually leading into something, so I'll get, about, get that in a second, because I was talking about how you remember who you are. Hang on, I'm going to cough. And this is normal cough. I've been coughing a bit because I had a, a tickled throat. <clears throat> yeah, that was as bad as it got. <laughs> but the thing I want to talk about is that we've got to remember who we are. Because it's tempting sometimes to be the puppet to the media's puppet strings. And I talked about this before about re response versus reaction. In fact, I posted today earlier a replay from a year ago, I think it was. When I talked about do you, do, you do you react or do you respond? And that's kind of what part of this thing is. With all stuff being thrown at us in the media and the news and the, and the um, I was going to say entertainment, it's not the right word, but all the, all the um, highlights and provocations being, provocations is a good word, thrown at us by the media, it's very easy to get basically put upon, energetic, like a pinata, being baiting around, swatted around by it, and it's not real. Yes, there may be cause for concern, but do it through your own lens, your own filter of understanding. No, I'm not going to say that. That's not going to work. <laughs> so what I want to say as a bottom line is that, is that this is an interesting time to be around, alive, present in this moment on the planet. It's interesting timing as well. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you now about something happening Tuesday. Um, in two days, this is Sunday broadcast, by the way, in case you're watching it in delay. Tuesday um, begins the Inspired Heart Mastery class that myself and my friend Katie Carlson are, are leading. And we planned this January? We had this plan quite a way ahead. But it's happening now and it's like it seems like everything's happening now is putting the right place for it to happen because part of what we're about in this journey we're starting on Tuesday is helping people remember one who they are, two, give them back or should I say remind them to take back their authority, autonomy and power to really own their own space from their heart, from their cons from their compassion and from their love. Because right now with the media, it's hard to do that, just to be clear. And if you're feeling you're being challenged by this, this will be something you want to check out. I'll put the link in the comments at the end. But the thing we're doing is really teaching people how to really have a navigation, a, a, a navigation chart for their lives that is heart-centered in all areas of life. And on top of that, how to be more, um, say, facile, maybe the word use, to be really confident in who they are. Self-support, self-reliance, self-trust, self-belief, self-care. It's all part of the package. So the Inspired Heart Mastery is what, what I'm talking about. Is one of the things I'm recommending you want to check it out because we have a special offer this weekend. It officially ends tonight. We may extend it if you really ask us nicely. But it's 25% off of what the sign-up is. So I'll put the link in the comments. You can check it out. And I'll put a reminder of the coupon code in quotes in there as well. But my, my invitation to you is to look at your life right now with what's going on especially and seeing how you navigate it. Seeing how you're able to function within it, despite the constraints being put upon us by the local government. Because it can be challenging sometimes to even function that way. I know I've gone through my own ones. I've had to cancel some plans because of this. One of, those, one, of, one, of, one of them was one of my delayed birthday celebrations tonight. That got postponed. Oh dear, I'll get over it. <laughs> Already have, actually. But the reminder is that we get to navigate that the way we want to. So... Again, I invite you to check out the link in the comments. Please check out the link in the comments because if it speaks to you and it resonates for you, Tuesday is when we start, two days from now. And it could be the most powerful thing you've ever done. It might be. Not promising because I don't know your life. I don't know your experience, but maybe it will. So my recommendation besides that, could give you a little homework assignment, is if you're not doing so at the moment, how frequently do you center yourself? Whether that's through breathing, through meditation, through yoga, through journaling, whatever that is for you. But this is a particularly good time to do practices that bring you back to your center, your core, your heart. Because it's tempting to get pulled out of it a lot by what's going on. So be clear. I'm inviting you to not panic, but to focus on where you want to go. To focus on being present with yourself and to focus on how to be effective from this place. Because you can be. Let me see if there's anything else I want to drop on the table. I think that's everything I want to say. I haven't seen any questions, so I guess it's all making sense. Um, again, link will be in the comments to check out our um, Inspired Heart Mastery um, Masterclass that starts on Tuesday. It's an eight-week eight journey, a two-month journey, all virtual, so you don't have to meet in person, so you don't, you'll be safe at your own home. But it's going to be a deep dive, and it's going to be transformational. Katie and I are looking forward to teaching and sharing and expressing this and really inspiring everybody in the course. That's why it's called Inspired Heart Mastery. You know, It makes sense. It's inspirational, about the heart, and you learn to master everything. Well, heart-related. Sounds good? All right. Check out the link in the comments. I appreciate you watching. 
I will be back again probably before Tuesday to do another little plug because there's so much going on right now energetically what's happening with the changes we're going through right now and the restrictions that we're going through that there may be more to speak, of, speak about so stay tuned keep in touch this is actually kind of a fun thing by the way if you haven't done Facebook live by the way this is a good thing to do because you can do it without contaminating yourself <laughs> you can talk to people interact with people if people interact with you and have a conversation and have a connection that actually can be very functional without getting in so many risk factors at part you know this is social distancing I'm you know I'm at least six feet from you <laughs> or three feet whatever it is so um, which is again a master class can be on zoom so it doesn't matter where you're in the country you're on the planet you can join us in that class recommend you join us come and join us it's gonna be a blast and com a link will be in the comments. I appreciate you being with me as always. Thank you for watching. This is a, a new t new theme I'm going through, which is self mastery is my my new focus and direction because I'm really clear that's my strongest work. It's always been that way, but I've had it under cover of relationships. Now I'm taking it off and saying no relationship with self. Self mastery is where my strength is, and that's what I'm teaching. So that's a big piece of the work we're doing in inspired heart mastery. So link will be in the comments. If you have any questions, comments, either put them in below or respond to me over social media, and I'll be in touch. So with that, I thank you for watching. I'll see you again another time, maybe tomorrow. This is not a daily talk anymore. And uh, I thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. But as always, a reminder, especially now, if not other times, is please take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.